College Game Day is built by the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Game afternoon here, the tailgating full swings. Aerial coverage provided by Goodyear, committed to honoring Whitworthy athletes to demonstrate hard work on and off the field. Goodyear, the official sponsor of the college football playoff. Let's find some surprises. Super dog me somebody. Here we go. I guess I'll start it off, huh? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, Kentucky over Missouri. They're giving us six and a half points. So I'm thinking, hey, why? Why not? <laughs> so I'm going Kentucky, man. This, this is going to be an interesting game. I keep an eye on this. But I got, I got UK. You're at 500, though. That's I'm going. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to win this week. I'm, I'm <laughs> one and eight. Iowa State over Kansas State. Kansas State will have a left arm over the big Texas win. And Iowa State is one and six. But it's their homecoming. You, okay, you, so you and Reese home. know what that number in the parentheses <laughs> means, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, number there. Uh, five, two, and one here. I got to. I got to find one. I'm going to go Duke, fellas to knock off Georgia Tech. I'm going to go Duke. Maybe they went outright, but definitely keep. I'm shocked that they're getting six and a half in Atlanta. Okay. All right, Reese. Come on, Kim. Hey, you know what? I've got mustard and brown about for you here. <laughs> Wyoming has never beaten Boise State, but they're getting 14 and a half at home. They're unbeaten in conference play. I like that pick. I'm going to go with Craig Bowl and those three okay. national championship rings. I like rings. that. That's a good pick. I'm going to be watching that. That's a good Cowboy. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Coach and I are going to get hot. <laughs> yes, sir. Now. Oh. Hey, let's take a look at our Saturday selections today brought to you by Chevrolet. Bronx Cincinnati. Bronx Cincinnati. Bronx Cincinnati. Hot, 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 hot. This is blowing my mind, man. Amazing show so far. Probably trending. Oh, he's active. Oh, he's inactive. I actually broke the space-time continuum. Hey, this is harder to navigate than a Marshawn Lynch press conference. <laughs> and there he is, our friend Frank Caliendo, who joins us now. Oh, yeah. Hey, Frank, here's what you're shooting for right now among our celebrity guest pickers right there. Eric Church has been leading the way with Aaron Rodgers, Rick Flair, Layla Ali, and Steve Spurrier, all with winning records. That's the top five right now, so that's what you're shooting. So give me, you got frankonstage.com. You can find out about the upcoming shows. Give me a little Morgan Freeman about what we're doing. Ah, yes. As I enter the stage, ready to begin this college <laughs> Our ESPN, nothing was better than meeting young Chase. I'll tell you what, man, Chase, he does a tremendous John Gruden face, man. <laughs> if I had Herbie call me one more time on my cell phone and say, hey, call my son as John Gruden. <laughs> My man here. Yeah, he man. I can't John Gruden, man. Let's start making some picks. Let's start with Nebraska and Wisconsin Desi first. I think Nebraska's defense is going to, they're going to cause uh, Hornybrook to create two turnovers, to commit two turnovers. I got Nebraska by double digits over Wisconsin. Okay, this one you get to do is Frank. Who wins it? Uh, I, I grew up in Wisconsin. I'm a homer. Uh, you know, uh, T.J. Watt playing on the team. I love J.J. Watt. Yeah. So I'm going uh, with the Wisconsin Badgers. The good pick. Reese, is this a trophy game? It is. And Wisconsin won 12 of the last 13 mm. pro trophy games. They have. Aha! Wisconsin with Frank. I'm going Nebraska on the oh, road. The final way to get it. I think Tommy Armstrong's the difference in the game. Who you got, Chase? I have Wisconsin because of um, Corey Clement. Corey Clement. Good All pick. Right. Good All pick. Right. Good. I, I'm on Nebraska here. Let's go Michigan, Michigan State for you. Go blue. Go blue there. Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino. Let's take a look here. We got Michigan against Michigan State. This is a big one. Michigan undefeated. They're going to stay undefeated. I'm going with the khakis. Hey. <laughs> All right, Michigan. Payback is L. Yeah. You're going to get this payback. Michigan. <laughs> I think Michigan big. Michigan. Michigan. Michigan named their number today. They're going to win big. Auburn Ole Miss. I love the way Auburn's playing offensively right now. Their defense has always been great, but I love Auburn in the big one. I like they, they're going to blow out Ole Miss today. It's not even going to be close. Charles Barkley. I think that, 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 that it's going to be a very easy game for my guy. <laughs> you're going to have to be a knucklehead to pick a game. Don't be a knucklehead, Lee. No, no I won't. Don't be a knucklehead. Listen, I, mean, I picked Arkansas to beat Auburn last week. They lost by 53. Oh, yeah. well, I'm not Auburn. Auburn I'm, I'm going hot. Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. Auburn's as hot as they can be. Ole Miss is, is struggling. It just looks like a blowout. I think I think Auburn's going to win, but I think it's going to be very, very close. Mm. 
Well, I'm okay. almost because of Chad Kelly. All right. Oh, right. <laughs> South Carolina. I'm starting to see a pattern with it. <laughs> I'm going with the Volunteers. I think it's going to be a close one. South Carolina plays pretty good defense, but I go, I'm going with Tennessee. Gruden. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> I met my wife in Tennessee. Yeah. Can't get any better than that. <laughs> We're going with the Volunteers. I'm Peyton Manning, man, the sheriff. I don't even know why I call him that. <laughs> Tennessee, man. <laughs> Tennessee over here. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where, where do you have? Where do you have? Tennessee. When's your birthday? August 7th. August 7th. Same as the Sunshine Scooter. Hey, <laughs> same thing. All right, Florida, Georgia. I'm going with the upset. I'm going with the Georgia Bulldogs to beat Florida today. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait what are you saying, Mel Kiper? Talk about that tremendous pick. We look at everything that they're going to do, and I'm going with Florida to beat Georgia. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
really cool environment. This game right here will really just jumpstart us into showing the nation we really are a team that can compete with a lot of people. We always tell ourselves like these away games, we haven't had that SWAT team mentality. Walking somebody else's house and they kick down their door, you don't know what's behind the other side. So you just gotta be ready for whatever comes your way. Washington and Utah. Kirk, you get the first pick on this one. <sighs> Uh, oh, you get to pick the game. I, I get to pick yeah, the game. Yeah, this is great. I, I've, uh, I, I've got a lot of respect for Kyle Winningham. Let me start by saying that. I think their defense, and I think Troy Williams, I think, has an opportunity to be the difference maker in the game. But I don't think the nation fully respects Washington the way I think they should respect Washington. And I think Miles Gaskin, keep an eye on him, and the quarterback Jake Browning, are the difference in the game. I got Washington. But I love it here. I, I, I go skiing up in Park City all the time. I love this place. Yeah, yeah, I see around here, yeah. fish and everything. Love it. Not yeah, anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> Listen, um, yeah. I think that the nation, they don't respect Utah the way they deserve to be respected. Yeah. Yeah, that's I think the guys in the trenches are going to be a difference maker. And I really believe that Trey Williams and Joe Williams, they're going to be the guys that are going to be a difference. So I'm going to go Utah in the close. Yeah. Wow. 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 Now what yeah. say you, Stephen A. Smith? Oh, no. <laughs> to say that there's a tremendous uh, amount of energy here going on in this crowd in Utah here today. The exuberance, the execution of the Utah Utes. But I have to digress. <laughs> <laughs> I love Joe Williams, 500 yards in the last two games, and he is a friend. And when I say he is a friend, that means that I've watched him multiple times on video while <laughs> locked him in my own kitchen, but I have to go. But the Washington game. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. That's good. I love coming to Utah. Yeah. Beautiful scenery, fresh air, and great people. Boy, I just, boy. Yeah, really nice. You're laying it on. Real nice. Sick right here. Really are. Me? Yeah, you're laying it on. You know what else they got this thing? What 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 else do they have? They have a big home underdog. Ooh, you you always like the home underdog. I always like the underdog. You're right. But not this week. <laughs> Harry! Give me Harry Husky! Oh! Oh, it's a little head. <sighs> At least we'll have a live dog this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got one, but he's sitting there. That's not true. He's six and two already. Yes, this year. he is. Yeah, he's on fire right now. Frank Caliendo, Coach Corso. There's nothing like this. Fun. Chase, yeah, Chase fun, give, give me your Gruden look. There you go. <laughs> okay, a little Trump book now. A little Trump book. <laughs> Following in your footsteps, Frank. Frank, always a pleasure. Enjoy your college football Saturday. Michigan, Michigan State, where last year one of the great finishes in the history of the sport. <laughs>